Hey everybody, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. Um, let me set you up, put your watch in here real quick. Um, I got this gameplay on Moscow. Um, I accidentally camped my way into a Relentless last night, so that was kind of fun. Um, I'm on Moscow, it's not my favorite map, it's kind of cold and bleak. Um, you see how that Semtex was way off? It's because my character throws left-handed, and I don't throw left-handed, so it throws me off. Uh, but, um, I started this game off, I died like three times in a row. And then it spawned me back here. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to hang out. I do a double take right here because there's always somebody behind that car. And I have fucking PTSD because of it. Um, but anyways, it spawned me over here. And I never rarely have gone in this building on this map because there's always somebody upstairs peeking their head out the window like the neighborhood watched. But they weren't there this time. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to hang back here and see what happens. And next thing I know, I'm on a 23 kill streak. Um, and I do camp. But the funny thing is, is I win this game by eight kills. And I don't leave this building, but I still win by 8 kills, so what does that say? I'm still rolling with this Craig, I'm still trying to get diamond ARs, and then I might get diamond submachine guns, but that's about it. I don't need dark matter, because you're never going to see me touch a sniper rifle or a shotgun on purpose. Anyways, I might accidentally pick one up off the ground, but that's about as far as it goes. Anyways, I jumped on to play last night after the family left um, Christmas night. And I don't know if Activision blessed us and they toned down the skill-based matchmaking, but I played for two hours straight and I had fun last night. I don't know. Usually I got like three or four games in me before I got to take a break, but I legit played for like two hours straight uh, hardcore free-for-all last night. And I had a couple games where I went off and like I didn't have a couple games where I got slaughtered either. I don't know. It felt real good. And I feel like that's all they need to do for this game, because in my opinion, this is a good game at its core. The skill-based matchmaking uh, just makes it sometimes unplayable. But if they tone that down a little bit, I think we would have a pretty good game on our hands. I did see um, a couple Christmas noobs. I guess we'd call them Christmas noobs. It was like a level 9 and a level 24, and I was super excited about it. But then um, as the lobby filled up, I got a couple 200s in there. Um, and of course they had, you know, tie-dye purple guns so it kind of I couldn't take full advantage of those that level 9 and 24 um, but like I said this game is good at the core like I have fun when I play it um, skill based matchmaking was gone or just toned down it would be so much better um, and the only thing after that would be the score streaks I don't really care for score streaks I'd rather have kill streaks I would rather earn my AC 130 my chopper gunner um, they're just kind of handed out here in this game and I feel like the way it's set up they're tit for tat like I'll call in a UAV or my teammate will call a UAV and then two seconds later the enemy calls in a UAV or I'll call in a napalm strike two seconds later the enemy has a napalm strike it's just it's just too skill basey matchmaking the way this is set up they're just making it too fair and that's not fair <laughs> to us who've been playing this game forever um, I like the cruise missile. I'm shooting my missiles. I'm pressing the button for my missiles to come out, but nothing's happening. I don't know if it's a glitch or if I'm just stupid sometimes, but uh, shit ain't working. Shit don't work in this game sometimes, and uh, they need to fix that. There is nothing more frustrating in this game than when you try to do something and you can't do it because of the glitches or the bugs or just because the Call of Duty gods are like, nope, you thought you were going to get a triple kill with that cruise missile, but not today. Um, but I hopped on thinking because the rumor on the Twitter streets were they weren't disbanding lobbies. And I don't know if it's because I was playing free-for-all, but my lobbies kept getting disbanded. Um, and then when it comes to free-for-all, it don't really make any sense because they put you in the lobby with the same people anyways. You see two or three people that were in the previous game. So, like, why do you do that? Like, stop wasting our time, Activision. I can't get this time back in my life. Just let us roll. Let us play. Um... I said in a previous video that I felt like they should stop disbanding them just because then you can at least get to know who you're playing. You know what they're going to do. Um, you can pick up what they're putting down. Um, I don't know. But this dude thought he was going to climb through the window. Not today. But uh, my campfire is going out here. But this was fun for me. It may not have been very fun for you guys to watch. But sitting back here just picking them off. They kept coming. So I was rolling with it. Got my bouncing buddies or my proximity mines. There's no rhyme or reason as to where I put where I put those. So I just kind of throw them when it tells me I have them. Um, but anyway, I think I get the final kill with one, so that was pretty cool. 
called it my second helicopter. I think this is the first game that I ever got two helicopters in, so I wish I would have had a higher streak on, but oh well. Anyways, if you want to watch me camp and win some more, let me know. I got some more exciting gameplays that I can um, put up. Like I said, I did pretty good last time. I had fun. I don't know if it was uh, Activision helping us out a little bit, finally hearing us, but I highly doubt it. Um, anyways, boom, victory. And like, look, I won by eight kills and I camped. I didn't leave the building. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.